Hi, this is Shane Kennedy with your Point Park Athletics podcast update. The men's basketball team started their playoff run on February 24th against Asbury. The Pioneers led 36-29 at halftime. With seconds remaining in regulation, Xavier Prince hit the game-winning free throw to give the Pioneers the 71-70 victory. Sharon Shafino had 19 points in the game, Eddie Four had 11 points, Jesse Callaway, Kyle Carrington, and Tony James each had 9 points, and James had 13 rebounds. Then on February 27th, the Pioneers played Rio Grande in the semifinals. The Pioneers led 34-32 at halftime. They fought in the second half, but they fell 74-61, which ended their season. Sharon Shafino had 20 points in the game, both Eddie Four and Jesse Callaway had 11 points in the game. The team made the semifinals for the first time in five years. The competitive dance team placed second of four teams at the NAIA Dance Mid-East Regionals that they hosted Friday night February 26th at Oakland Catholic High School. The Pioneers posted a final score of 67.05, just missing their fourth Nationals appearance in a row. This was also the third time in the last four years that they have been regional runner-up. Their next meet is April 10th at the Dance Team Union College Invitational. The competitive cheer team competed in their first Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference Championship. They placed fifth of six teams. The Pioneers posted their highest score of the year, 77.46. The baseball team started off their weekend with games on February 26th against Spring Arbor University and came away with a 6-2 win. Nick Beardsley threw a complete game, giving up no earned runs and striking out six over seven innings. Joseph Renevales went two for four, Ty Andrews went one for three and drove in four runs. Then in their second game on February 26th, the Pioneers won 20-5 over Trinity Baptist College. Cole Haru threw five innings, struck out three, and Tyler Pullen threw the final two innings to close it out. Carlos Sanchez hit a home run along with Ty Andrews who had two grand slams on the day. Danilo Leone went two for four and Antonio Carrillo went three for four. Then on Saturday, February 27th, the baseball team swept a doubleheader against Trinity Baptist College. In the first game, the Pioneers pitchers threw a shutout as they won 10-0. Christian Negron threw six innings, striking out six, and only surrendering one hit. Easton Klein had a 1-2-3-7 to complete the shutout. Luis Mojica hit a three-run home run, and Joseph Renevales went two for three with a triple. Then in the second game, Jonathan Pacheco went six shutout innings, allowing three hits. Easton Klein struck out the side in the seventh. Klein retired all six batters he faced on Saturday. Edwin De La Rosa had a two-run single, Antonio Carrillo had a two-run homer, Ed Fluger had a pair of RBI doubles in the sixth inning, and Dylan Winsek had an RBI. The Pioneers won 15-0. Then on Sunday, February 28th, the baseball team took on number one Southeastern University. The Pioneers gave the number one team all they had as the game was tied heading to the ninth inning. Southeastern scored in the top of the ninth on an RBI single to win 3-2. Marco Quintanar threw six innings, striking out five, giving up two runs on six hits. Ruben Ramirez threw the final three innings, giving up one run on three hits while striking out three. Antonio Carrillo and Ed Fluger each collected an RBI. The Pioneers kick off RSC play when they take on Asbury in a three-game set which starts on Friday, March 5th. Asbury is currently 9-2 on the season. The eSports team swept Hofstra University 2-0. They have won three of their last four matches. Samuel Francis led the team with 23 kills, Tanner Shields had 17 kills, and Shane Winter had 11 kills. Check pointparksports.com for when the eSports team plays next. The softball team opened their season on Saturday, February 27th, when they took on number 19 Warner University. The softball team fell 21-0. Angeli Beal pitched three and two-thirds innings, giving up 14 earned runs. Mara Ingnema, Alex Bondi, and Jody Frontino each had a hit. Then in their second game on Saturday, the Pioneers beat number 25 Weber International 8-7. Jada Simon threw a complete game, striking out one and giving up three earned runs on 10 hits. Matty Horn went 2 for 4 with the run batted in. Taylor Goldstrom also went 2 for 4 with the run batted in. Jada Simon went 1 for 3 with 2 runs batted in. 
and Jody Fontina collected a hit in three RBIs. Then on Sunday, the softball team dropped both games of the doubleheader to Ave Maria University. In the first game, the Pioneers lost 10-2. Angeli Beal threw five innings, gave up five earned runs on 12 hits. Sidney Reese won one for two with a two-run home run. Then in the second game, the Pioneers fell 9-1. Jada Simon threw four and two-thirds innings, giving up six earned runs on 14 hits. Taylor Goldstrom went two for two. Jada Simon, Alex Bondi, and Emily Vinsky each had a hit. Angeli Beal threw seven shutout innings, striking out five and surrendering two base hits to lead the Pioneers to a 3-0 victory over Bethel University on Monday. Alex Bondi went two for three and had an RBI. Beal and Horn each had an RBI. In their second game, the Pioneers fell 7-4 to Spring Arbor University. Jada Simon threw five innings, striking out one, giving up three earned runs on 12 hits. Matty Horn went one for five, driving in two runs. Carissa Sekeries went two for four and drove in a pair. Their next game is Wednesday, March 3rd against Bethel University. The women's soccer team opened the spring portion of their schedule at Lord University on February 26th. The Pioneers trailed at halftime 2-0. The Pioneers were not able to score in the second half as they fell 2-0. They have three games before they get ready for the conference playoffs, which starts on April 1st. Their next game is Friday, March 5th, against Grace College. Women's indoor track and field athlete Alyssa Campbell was mentioned among the NAIA indoor track and field national qualifiers announced last week. She is a national qualifier in the 3,000 meters, an event she is ranked third in the nation. That is with a time of 9.50. She will compete in South Dakota March 4th through 6th, for a shot at the national title and All-American honors. This has been Shane Kennedy with your Point Park Athletics podcast update.